Hi, my pre-K friends. I wanted to share this book with you, A Sick Day for Amos McGee, and it's written by Philip C. Steed and illustrated by Aaron E. Steed. Um, so it turns out that the author and the illustrator are related. They're in the same family. They have the same last name. Isn't that interesting? So they work together to create this sweet, sweet book. And I have my tea here because um, Amos loves his tea. Every morning he drinks it. And I'm going to read this book about, um, about Amos. And Amos is someone who loves and takes care of... Um, I'm sure he takes care of other people, but he mostly takes care of animals. He works at a zoo and he does things with the animals that make them feel good and he loves them. And I'm wondering while we read this, do you have a person um, and maybe in your family or a friend of the family um, that does things with you that makes you feel good and makes you feel loved? Um, and sometimes they need you to do that for them as well, right? So that's what this story is about. Um, a sick day for Amos McGee. So, looks like he's playing cards with some animals. Let's find, let's read to find out what happens. A sick day for Amos McGee. That must be his house. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning, when the alarm clock clanged, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. So he traded them in, swapped. A good stretch. Um, it looks like he has a teddy bear here. <laughs> he would want, wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to his sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. Belly full and ready for the work day, he'd amble out the door. Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call. 6 a.m., right on time, he'd reply. There he's checking his watch. There's the bus stop. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo but he always made time to visit his good friends, City Zoo. He would play chess with the elephant, who thought and thought before making a move, run races with the tortoise, who never ever lost, sit quietly with the penguin, who was very shy, and lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros who always had a runny nose. Do you see how he's doing a lot of special things for his different friends? Making them feel comfortable, making them feel loved, taking care of them. And at sunset, read stories to the owl who was afraid of the dark. Isn't that silly? One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills. He swung his achy legs out of bed, curled them back again and said, Ugh, I don't think I'll be going to work today. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. They depended on him, right? They counted on him. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were worsening. And the owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks, scratching his head with concern. He was a little bit worried. Where is Amos? The animals wondered. Hmm. Later that day. Hmm. 
elephant, the rhinoceros, the turtle, the owl, and the penguin are all waiting at the bus stop. Why do you think they're doing that? Where are they gonna go? What? Hooray! My good friends are here. They're standing in his house. Amos is so happy. You can see his eyes and his mouth, right? The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell and Amos beneath the covers. Who's playing with who now? Amos yawned. I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. Achoo! Amos awoke with a sneeze, and the rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. So sweet. I'm beginning to feel much better. Thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Thank you, Amos. Don't mind if I do. Look who's pouring the tea. So silly. And they're all sitting. Can you imagine having a living room with all these animals inside? Oh, he is still Amos. He has a little bit of a pink nose, but he is so happy, right, to have all his friends. I just noticed the turtle was carrying the tea and the honey on his back, on his shell. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said goodnight to the elephant and goodnight to the penguin and goodnight to the rhinoceros and good night to the owl, who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read a story aloud before turning out the light. Oh, they brought him the balloon. And this is how the evening ended. <laughs> So are they all going to take the bus in the morning back to the zoo together? Isn't that so sweet how Amos's friends came over and took care of him when he wasn't feeling well? A very sweet story. And there's the back. Thank you so much for reading A Sick Day with Amos McGee with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day and remember those who love you and, um, and you have fun with and give them a big hug today or send them a message. Okay, love you, bye.